All right, guys. So Valentine's Day is around the corner and it's time to get started with some Valentine's Day crafts. Hi guys and welcome to my channel where we do DIY projects, crafts, and a little bit of organization, but all on a budget. Come check out today's video. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, check out some of my previous videos, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget, I try and link everything I used in the description box, and if I can't link exactly what I used, I'll link something as close as I can get. Now let's okay, get started. Guys, now I have been looking for these little wooden stickers at the Dollar Tree everywhere. I finally found them, so don't give up if you're still in search for them. I'm gonna go ahead and get these ones that are relatively the same size. I think that one's the same size too, but I got several packs so that I have those same sizes, and I'm kinda gonna lay them out on here to see if I like where they lay, or if I need to use a piece of cardstock and cut my own. So, hang tight, let's figure it out together. They are stickers, so if I take it right off of here, it's gonna be sticky, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut those out and lay them on there, because it's the clear background, so it should still give me a really good idea on what I wanted. They are! You don't have to cut them out as well as I'm doing. You don't even have to cut them out if you don't want to, but I wanted to go ahead and cut them out and cut them out as close as possible, because it'll give me a little bit better idea. I, I'm not good at visualizing. I have to do to visualize. So I've kind of laid it all out and I'm not sure I like how big the hearts are. Like I kind of like it but I kind of don't. So I think I'm going to try this other pack. It comes with a hundred different pieces and there's different size hearts. I like these small pink ones. So I think I'm going to try and replace some of these and see if maybe we can get an extra line in there. And I don't have the glass in here because of those wood pieces. I didn't want it to press against it and I didn't want to waste the piece of glass. I figured I might be able to use it for a different um, project activity. DIY craft. I'm not loving it. So let's go ahead and see what it looks like with these on top of here. Okay, here's what option three looks like. <laughs> I don't like it either. Oh goodness. I think we might need to change the frame. I just think that I might need to do a new background and change the frame. I know, I'm thinking out loud a lot, but yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. All right, guys, we're switching it up. So I had this square frame. It came with this inside. It says, home is where our family gathers. I love the saying, but we're gonna use the frame. I also cut out a red piece of cardstock using that background to get the right size. And now I'm gonna cut out a piece of this tissue paper with that same size. Okay, guys, sorry, it's getting dark outside. I'm trying to use the natural light. It's not really working with me. So what's really nice about this is I have some lines here and obviously they're not perfect but I kind of like that look as you've probably caught on from my last tutorials. So I want to see kind of where this lands and it's going to take up a little bit of space on the ends but not a lot. So we're going to play with the inside and we're going to go ahead and get them all situated and then stick them down. I am very very glad that we did not start by just sticking them on because this would have been all messed up. This would be adorable for a baby shower or in a baby girl's room. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take off the little sticky, um, the little cover pieces on the back and I'm going to go ahead and stick them on. And you could definitely use a ruler or something like that if you want to keep them perfect. All right guys, I'm sorry it got so dark, but here is the inside, once those um, little blocks dry, we'll go ahead and put it inside of here. But before we do that, I'm gonna take this frame and I'm gonna paint it white. I'm just gonna use the chalk paint that I have and then we'll go ahead and put it all together once everything's dry. And here's the final look at the project. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I can't wait to do another craft next week. Bye bye